I want to help you, Anne. Your eyes are full of fear and tension. Have you slept? No. Not since that day? I can't sleep. Pills any help? They're no good. They don't put me to sleep. They just make me jump inside. Yes, I know. I'll have to ask Bill for some other kind. Don't. Your husband is not entirely a stupid man. If he finds out you have insomnia, he'll start looking for its cause and probably stumble on it. We don't want to disillusion him and appear like all the other twisted little customers on his analyst's couch. If I could only sleep. You need treatment. And you can't go to a doctor. Your husband would hear it at the first psychoanalytical Catholic class he attended. So perhaps you will swallow your prejudice against a humble astrologer whose only medical diploma is the gratitude of his patients. Thank you. But I can't possibly become a patient of yours. You are already. The fact that I know of your kleptomania, the fact that I know that your mind is sick and threatening to get out of hand, gives me a medical position in your life, doesn't it? Yes, I... I suppose it does. You're relaxed with me. You don't have to exhaust yourself trying to see normal. A serene and devoted wife who doesn't dare upset her busy husband. Your soul can undress in front of me. That means that your cure is already beginning. I can make you sleep. Every night. Nine hours of peaceful, happy sleep. How? Trust me. Look at me. There are no thoughts in your mind, no fears. Trust me, I can help you. Don't think of anything. Forget, there is nothing to remember. Just close your eyes and forget. Forget. Can you hear me, Anne? Yes. You can hear only my voice. All of the sounds have faded away. You will hear only my voice until I wake you up. Yes. You must do what I say. Do you know that? Yes. Go to the window. Draw the curtains. Go to the door. Close the door, then come back and sit down. Now, open your eyes. Close the door. Give me your hand, Anne. Put your hand in mine, Anne. Hold my hand. Close your eyes. I'm going to leave an order in your mind that you will obey later. Yes. Tonight at 11 o'clock, you will go to sleep. I will go to sleep. You will fall asleep at 11 o'clock tonight, and you will sleep for nine hours. I will sleep for nine hours. You will remember nothing that has happened here. Nothing. You will wake up slowly and pleasantly. 
Wake up now. Will I sleep? You relax for a moment. Feel better? Oh, yes. Much. I really feel so rested. And you will sleep tonight without any trouble. But if I do...